What's up, world? It's Action Fredo. It's your boy, LC. You're heard. This is Higher Faculty, where we combine education and entertainment. We love music video reactions. What we got, dog? Silk Sonic performing Fly As Me live at the BET Soul Train Awards. Okay. Now, I have not heard anything from the album. Right, You've man. heard the whole album, right? Yeah, I got a confession to make, man. I couldn't. I couldn't wait until we reacted to it and to listen to it. Like, uh, it was like putting a pile of cookies in front of the cookie monster and be like, hey, man, don't touch these. I had to. I had to. I had to listen that, to that. That's album. cool. But I have not seen this live performance of this song. You haven't even heard this song, have nah, you? No. First time okay. hearing it. If I had to describe the album, I would say it's kind of like a, um, I would say it's like a 70s movie. Okay. That's 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 how I would put it. Like they really, like musically, I would say they they carefully planned everything from the the harmonies, the notes, um, Anderson Pack on the drums, Bruno on the on the the vocals, and it's musically. I, I feel like it's a masterpiece. I would say that. Too. I'm here for it. This is like a. I ain't gonna say nothing. Let's okay. Just, let's, yeah, I'll just let's, dive straight in, bro. In. Okay, that bass line. Hey. Ooh. It's groovy. Love. It's thick, too. Mm hmm. I <laughs> love the choreo, too. Hey, I like that. Okay. Hey. Get it straight hey. old school vibes. This is crazy. This is like Soul Train Remaster. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. Hey, this is crazy. <laughs> okay, oh, hold on. Hold on, wait. Is that the James Brown? Like, yes, uh, it that's was. The, the James Brown ad lib. The how? What's crazy is it's like how it sounds so old school, yeah, but new at the same time. You know what I'm saying? It's That's like perfect. this type of vibe is back, but mm -hmm. it's like it sounds so similar. It's not like they're like just putting pieces of it in. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole entire vibe is old school, but it still feels new and fresh. Yeah, I feel like this is like Soul Train remastered. There you go. That's 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 what's crazy about it because they were doing it big back in the seventies when like Soul Train uh, was alive and well, like with these crazy visuals in the background and the yeah. crowd dancing in the shots. Like this is like a pretty much a reenactment, but it's kind of like new and modern at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's well, what's crazy. Another thing that's crazy is I haven't heard a lot of Anderson Pack. Like I've only heard like three songs. Yeah, and it's like two times. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying, but. uh yeah, he's nice. I love I, I love it because I, I feel like he showed a lot of range on this album. Like typically he was just kind of like a rapper that'd give you some some type of vocals. Mm -hmm. But I feel like he was stretched and pushed to do different stuff on this. So Yeah, Bruno definitely puts off the vibe that he might have been born in the wrong generation. Like he <laughs> he is singing like I get his on point, bro. Yeah. You know, he started off like his singing career impersonating like Elvis when he was like six. Oh wow. Like I don't, he, yeah, I don't know much about Bruno Mars. I mean, I know of Bruno Mars, but like I haven't like deep dove him or anything like that. Yeah, this is funky though. Loving yeah. the subtle choreography too. It's like they effortlessly just kind of floating and just going with the beat. For sure. Carlo, hard act to follow. It's showtime, trying to boo you up like it's the Apollo. 
Trying to boo you up like the Apollo. Okay. have loved to been there alive. Man, I want to know, I would love, I would love to see like what age groups are, are like res, what different age groups are responding to this. Like I was thinking like what would my dad and, and someone like my parents age think of this? Yeah. Because I know it, they haven't heard it as versus like someone younger than me. Like do they think this is cool or do they think it's kind of like eh? You know what I'm saying? That's interesting, bro. Yeah. I hope it inspires like another generation to do this mm-hmm. in the future. But I, I, I would love to see like somebody who experienced the Soul Train era like react to this. Yeah, man. That's what I was thinking the whole time because like someone around our age knows of that era. So when it's brought back around, we're mm-hmm. at the age to now to where we'll appreciate it. But I was yeah. thinking like someone really young, if they've never been exposed to it and they see yeah. this – what what are their feelings like what is their reaction like what do they think because it'll be like like their first time seeing or hearing something like this right and it's real trippy yeah so like certain artists have done similar stuff to this like i know the migos uh did like a video with drake Mm -hmm. where they kind of did like a soul train reenactment okay so i would imagine that a lot of people would compare that to this and like not really know where it really comes from you know but right uh, I don't know that like uh, I, I hope I would love to see like the older generation react to this Absolutely. and I would love to see like artists from this era like what do they think about what they're doing yeah I need to know like yeah that would that would be crazy to like hear like earth wind and fire like a, a, a member or some or two just kind of um, give their thoughts on something like this man for sure um, yeah. I will say that I, I'm more open to do, you know, or to listen to the rest of the album just off hearing this. Like, I'm like, man, yeah. if they're all like this, like, I need some of that. <laughs> yeah, man. This is, this was, this is crazy epicness, man. I love the album. Um, let us know in the comments if you would love to see us do the album reaction. We're going to do it anyways. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to listen to it by myself or we're going to do it on screen together yeah. one way or another because, like, Mm-hmm. I just like the unorthodox structure of the music. It's not just traditionally what we hear of like 16 hook, 16 hook. Like it has like little interlude and bridge parts and stuff. And it's just like composed in real instrumentation. So I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to mm-hmm. it. I would say um, that's the that's what I love about the album the most is the song structure and in- instrumentation. Like at the beginning I was saying like it was very, a lot of thought put into it. Mm-hmm. It's very well composed. Like this was a fun banger that kind of have old school and new school combined, but it was mixed 
very well. Like the the ad libs and and everything was well thought out. Mm-hmm. Like Bruno is screaming in there on the ad libs at the right moment. Like yeah. it's crazy. Nah, yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah. So super dope, man. Man, thank y'all for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Also, let us know in the comments of what you would love to see us react to. That's right. That's right. Hey, until, uh, until next time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit that like button, too. Hit the like button. Hit and the subscribe, subscribe button. button. All that. Do it all. <laughs> Do all the free stuff. <laughs>